Yo, if you want to make money on autopilot, having coming directly in your bank consistently without spending any money on advertising, then you're going to want to do exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. What's cracking? Zachary Babcock here of underdogempowerment.com. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to make money on autopilot on YouTube without spending any money on ads and I have a special gift for you that's going to make this whole entire process a whole heck of a lot easier. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you exactly what this YouTube money looks like. Let's jump to the computer and get right into it. Now, this is exactly what we're going to be doing with you. So here I have a, a video that I ranked. It's how to start a podcast from scratch. And if you look at the rankings, I'm ranking number 10 for how to start a podcast, uh, which is a highly searched term. There's a bunch of other highly searched term that I'm ranking on. So this video right here, let's go into analytics. Here's a quick snapshot of the stats. You'll see by ranking this video just in the last 48 hours, I've got 229 views on this, which is consistently feeding me organic targeted traffic. Anybody that's searching how to start a podcast, they're seeing my video and a lot of people click on it. Let's look at the revenue. So just the YouTube ad revenue, what you get paid for running ads on your uh, videos, I made $80 just in the last, uh, since we uploaded, since March 6th of 2019, seven months, which is cool. But now if uh, I have a, I'm going to show you a better way to monetize because if you are just starting out on YouTube and you don't have a thousand subscribers and 240 hours of watch time in the last 30, uh, 365 days, you can't monetize with ad revenue. So that brings me to how we're going to do it with affiliate marketing. Here we are in my Amazon Associates account, and Amazon Associates pays you very small uh, percentage on the commissions. But if you look here, just in the last 30 days, I've made $33 just off of Amazon alone, all producing from this video. That's why I'm making this video now before we go deep into something else. And what we do in that video, I recommended products that uh, help you get started as a podcast. I recommend the equipment, and people are buying the equipment just in the last 30 days if we go to reports here. Oh, here we are in the ports. I was actually wrong. So in the last 30 days from September 17th to October 16th, 2019, we've made a total of $83 and 44 cents. Uh, and if, if you see down here, you're seeing that people are actually ordering the microphone and the headphones and the pop filters and everything that you need for podcasting. And it's all being generated just from this video. That's what we're getting ready to do right now. So let's dive into the strategy. All right, the very first step of this process, before you record, before we do keyword research, is to actually select the goal that your audience has that you can help them achieve through this video. Now, it's really important to actually select a goal that your audience already has and not just make up some goal. So how you do that is to think about what is the goal that your audience has that you can help them achieve in this video. For an example, in this video, I thought about I help my audience achieve passive income by helping them build their passive income business. And I know a lot of my audience wants to rank their videos on you or wants to make money from YouTube, but they just don't know how to do it yet. So what kind of goal can you do that's going to help your audience uh, get to the next level that you could teach in a video? All right, once you got clear on that goal, the next step is to uh, do the keyword research so we can get the video ranked, and that comes before we even record it. So let's head back to the computer and do our keyword research. All right, here we are on YouTube. So the first thing that you're going to need is TubeBuddy, which is a Chrome browser extension that's going to help you rank these videos. Now, this is a free and paid tool. I'm going to link it up in the description below. Make sure you go get that. And whether you get the free or paid version, make sure you use promo code UNDERDOGBUDDY when you install this plugin. Just in case you ever do upgrade to the paid version, you'll get 20% off, and that's an exclusive underdog deal that I locked in with the CEO of this company. So what it looks like once you install it, you'll have this little tab right here. It's super easy to install. Just go through the process with them. And then once you have it, what this does, this is... This allows you from wasting so much time and energy and uh, alleviating you from that frustrating headache of uh, trying to do this stuff on your own. They give you the keyword explorer and a tag list, uh, which is two of the tools that we'll be using. I'll show you in just a minute. So keyword explorer, what you need to do, the strategy here is we need to find a key phrase that we're going to rank for. So for an example, uh, we're going to type in something. All right, how to make sales online fast. We're going to enter that here in the Explorer, and then once we do that, it's going to show us if this is a good keyword to search or not. What we're looking for, this wouldn't be bad. It's not the best, but for the search volume, we want the search volume to be mid to high. This is kind of a little bit more on the lower end, but it's still good enough. And we want the competition, the people, the, the competition out there on YouTube, to be mid to low. 
So it's perfect on the competition. It's mid-competition. We uh, probably have a good chance at ranking for it. And then what this optimization strength shows is uh, the number of other videos, how strong are they optimized, and they are optimized pretty well for this. So it's going to be a little bit tough to break in there. But once we find that keyword, so let's say that this was the perfect one that we're going to want to use, we're going to save this. So we do this by the action over here. We're going to create a new tag list, and uh, we're just going to call this one test. And uh, what that does is it puts it into a tag list for us, and then we hit copy, and it put it into that test tag list for us. Now, we would go and we would find a bunch of other tags that we would use, um, and we can even do it when we're uploading the video, but we got our main key phrase. And then when we go to upload the video, we'll be able to uh, open this tag list and drop all of them in there instantly, which saves you so much time, and you already know that you got the ones that you're ranking for. But the key here, here it is, this is the key. That key phrase that we're going for, we're going to insert it in the title and then the first 125 characters of the description and in our tags. And that's how you rank on YouTube. Uh, and that's how you're going to optimize your video is by finding a good key phrase to target and then we enter, we put it in the title, the first 125 characters of the description and the tags. All right, cool, man. We got our goal, we got our video ranked, and we got the step-by-step -step process of what we're going to be do talking about in the video and the product or service that we're going to be recommending in the pro in the video that's going to make us money. Now, we just need to record the video. And real quick, part of that guide that I told you about that's going to make this whole entire process easier for you will show you exact camera setup if you don't have one, plus much more in there that I'm going to share with you in just a moment. Boom, you got the video recorded. Next logical step is to get the video edited. I recommend using a software like uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Photoshop or not Adobe Photoshop, whatever. Something like that uh, to edit the video. And if you don't have the time uh, to do this yourself, I'll also in the resource I'm getting ready to share with you will show you a really good resource to where you can make it higher and have somebody else edit the video for you. Boom, got it recorded, got it edited. Next step, we need to make our thumbnail. We're like this close to being the end here. So I like to recommend doing it in Canva because it's really simple to do. I'll show you a really quick basic uh, tutorial on how to create a thumbnail. All right, here we are in Canva, and I'll link that up in the description, canva.com. Uh, pretty cool tool, especially if you're not a graphic designer like me and you want a simple interface to make thumbnails. So um, let's go here. First and foremost, you're gonna need to set it on the right pixels. So you'd go to File or Resize, you can enter your own custom dimensions, but right here, it'll show you. You need to have it 1280 pixel by 720 pixel, and that's the YouTube thumbnail um, dimensions that you need, 1280 by 720 pixels. All right, now once you have that, you want to keep it really simple. Don't try and jam and cram it with a whole bunch of stuff. I would do no more than five words at most. That's kind of stretching it. Six at the very most, and I think that's pushing it too far. Uh, but the, the less, the more, because this is a small thumbnail, and you want to include your photo because it will be more clickable, uh, more people will be able to relate. There, It's proven in most cases that when there's a person uh, face on there that more people will click it and finally you want to keep it click baity but also deliver on the bait for an example in this video I shared uh, a myth that I think about uh, personal branding that where most people get it wrong and it's the personal branding's most kept secret and I optimize the video for personal branding strategies one-on-one -on -one, or building a personal brand from scratch as are the ones I ranked it for and so I put personal branding best kept secret so when people are saying how to build a personal brand from from scratch they're searching that boom and they see this thumbnail it's clickbaity they it opens a loop and they want to actually click on it so you want to do something like that with your thumbnails side note see what I just did there this probably makes you want to check out this video and see what that uh, best kept secret for personal branding you could do that by clicking that card in the top right corner of your screen but make sure you stick around to what I'm getting ready to give to you next all right, we're not done. We got the video ranked, but now we need to get just a little bit more strategic and figure out how we're actually going to make money from this video. So we got to keep the goal in mind is to actually be a person of value, to actually help somebody get a specific result. And I hate saying that because everybody seems to throw that value thing around the uh, around the internet. But it's so true, though. You, you, you do need to actually help somebody uh, achieve a result, and that's how you're going to get rewarded in the process. So what we're going to do is instead of scripting your video out, now that you have the specific goal in mind and you got your video ranked, now we need to reverse engineer the entire process. So what that looks like is that we're going to break it down step by step by step all the way from very start, like they're starting with nothing until finish of the goal. 
So for instance, with this, we started with starting with the goal of the of your audience and then we're getting all the way through this step by step. You definitely do not want to script it because when you script out the entire video, it's just boring. People could tell that it's scripted, it'll put people to sleep and it's cheesy. So by right now, one word bullet points for each step, you could literally ramble on about it without even having to think about it forever. So that's what you want to do. You just want to write out one a few couple words and then you'll know what to talk about for each step. Finally, now that we got the steps, one or two, maybe even three of those steps should definitely include, maybe not for every single video, but when we're talking about we're trying to make some money here, it should include your product or service or an affiliate product or service that you can link to that you'll in return earn a commission from. So the step actually, your product or service or the affiliate product or service has to help them achieve this goal, makes it easier for them, saves them some time, whatever the case may be. Boom, finally, the only thing you have to do left is to actually schedule the video and make sure that you add that key phrase that you targeted with TubeBuddy in the title, the first 125 characters of the description, and in the tags, and boom, you are good to go. You'll rank up your videos. You might have to hit or miss a few times until you actually get really good at ranking them, and then you're gonna be able to drive consistent traffic to your video, and in those videos, you're gonna be recommend products that people are gonna be able to take action on and buy. All right, before you go, last thing. Like I mentioned, I got that guy that's gonna literally show you the step-by-step -step process that we just went through in written format, a checklist for you to keep up so you don't have to keep coming back to this video. And it also gives you all the resources that I mentioned as far as the camera equipment that you might need and the uh, hiring the team and a bunch of other resources as well. So you wanna check that out at underdogempowerment.com forward slash YouTube money. Once again, that's underdogempowerment.com forward slash YouTube money. I'm going to link that up in the description below. Make sure you hit subscribe if this video was helpful so you continue to get the best resource to help you level up in your passive income business. Hit this video with a thumbs up if you liked it. If it sucked, hit it with a thumbs down. Let us know in the comments one strategy that you're implementing to generate revenue on YouTube. Throw it in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. And uh, check out this video. And I'm going to see you on the next one.